Hi everybody, Nick here to show you the latest cards that are available in my shop at shop.thebeardedhousewife.com. These are my layered Valentine's Day cards. Um, there's several different kinds, so let me show you a, a good look here. This one is You're the Jelly to My Peanut Butter. So cute with that jelly and that peanut butter smeared on those bread pieces. You're the Cream to My Coffee. You're the salt to my popcorn, and this is the one that I'm going to show you how to layer together today. You're the burger to my fries. I just love this little combination. So cute. And then you're the milk to my cookies. Now, obviously, you could use um, any kind of pattern paper for these cover panels. There are panels on the inside as well. So some pretty Valentine's Day paper or whatever you choose would really be pretty on there. Just remember that um, once you upload the file onto or into Cricut Design Space, the uh, text will need to be converted to pen. And then there's two score lines, the score line for the base and then the score lines for the envelope that will have to be converted in the operation menu of Cricut Design Space. These can be used with all three machines. If you're going to be cutting them out with the Cricut Joy, you would cut out all the inside portions. You would not cut out the card base, and I would recommend you use one of the Cricut insert cards to use as your card base. So they're really simple to put together. Every single one of them is a layered design, so let me cut everything out and I will show you how to put it all together. Okay, now that everything has been cut out, it's time to go ahead and assemble. I've already layered our inside uh, mat and layer together, and I just wanted to show you how these particular pieces uh, go together. Um, all of the different cards are going to have um, the black circles that go behind the smiley faces. So for this particular card, it's going to be the yellow popcorn layer, then the black layer underneath the smiley face that gets layered on top of the yellow layer and then these little embellishments on top are the striping for the popcorn box the salt the same thing the black is going to layer underneath the white layer then that goes on top of the blue um, the blue salt shaker and then the salt shaker lid gets layered on top of the blue salt shaker so i'm going to go ahead and do that really quick i'm going to speed up the video just a little bit All right, so our little um, salt shaker and our popcorn box are all put together. Aren't they cute? <laughs> oh, I love these ones. So right now, we can go ahead and fold along the score line of our card base. Go ahead and give that a fold with our scraper. Now we can adhere our cover panel onto the front of the card. Okay, now you can place your salt shaker and popcorn box just like that. I'm going to actually flip them over and put some foam squares on the back just because I like that little bit of dimension that is given with that. Now if you are mailing these, I probably wouldn't do the foam adhesive unless you're going to mail it in something different like a bubble mailer or something like that. Uh, just because they do give good dimension. Of course, it's going to depend on your foam squares, too. Just kind of playing with the placement here. See how I like these. There we go. That looks good to me. There's that front. Go ahead and open it up and add your inside panel for the messaging. There we go. Now I left this inside blank. I did not add anything like Happy Valentine's Day or anything like that because this card could really be used for a birthday for a husband or a wife or a boyfriend or girlfriend, um, a friend. It could be used for anniversaries, all kinds of different um, 
all kinds of different celebrations that you could use these cards for. So that's why I left the inside blank. So there's the card. Let's go ahead and set that to the side and I will show you how to make the envelope really quick. Okay, burnish the folds with your scraper. Now you can add your glue to the outside edge of the inlay panel and then around the cutouts too. Go ahead and place that cover panel over the cutout on the envelope. Give it a press. Now, for this portion of the envelope, um, to put it all together, if you are using foam squares or anything thicker uh, like I am, you could place the card inside the envelope and then form the edges around it so that you know that you have enough room for the card to slide into. So I'm actually going to do it that way. Just careful not to get glue on my card. So I'm adding glue to those side flaps and then I'm bringing the bottom flap up and I'm gonna just hold it there for a second. Okay, so there's our envelope and there is our cute little card. You're the salt to my popcorn. Just adorable. Let me show you the other ones again. You're the burger to my fries. You're the cream to my coffee. You're the milk to my cookies. And then you're the jelly to my peanut butter. These are so cute. Uh, they are all available in my shop at shop.thebeardedhousewife.com. They come in a variety of file formats, so you can use them on most cutting machines. Uh, also, they all do come with this envelope as well. So I hope that you do make them. I can't wait to see what yours look like. So until next time, bye.